Hey, tubers, it was a road trip weekend. We are in Thomasville, Pennsylvania at the simply amazing Morningstar flea market. 5 a.m. Williams Grove. Welcome to the world of a flea market lunatic. What I love about the South Central Pennsylvania flea markets are the unique things that could be down there that could be found down there like this death machine this was a 49 cc two cycle you know the smallest type of quad you could get and somebody hacked a that's a 49 cc motor little two horsepower motor onto it and they extended the swing arm quite a lot so an adult sized person could actually ride this thing with the gear ratio you see on it see the back sprocket in the front I mean what are they they reducing that like the front probably has some like um, 12 on it and the back 30 some so it's like a, a one third gear ratio um, down so this thing would fly you could see like that tires about new that must have been bought the others the others look like more or less they came with it anyway um, just to own this unique machine um, he wanted 150 for it I ended up giving him a hundred <coughs> I think the story on it is he bought it off of some kid for 50 and then you know brought it to the flea market and upped his money on it Anyway, considering the parts, you know, the motor, <laughs> the tires, the chain, the clutch, right? I I just I just kind of liked it. I kind of wanted it. I think it's geared too tall to even drag me up and down the driveway. But he did a pretty good job, even on the um, even on the chain here, right? Um, oops. Right, he put the idler on the chain. I, I thought it was just cool, so when I got a chance to buy it, I figured I'd jump on it. Other unique stuff, like this um, rocket stove. Um, you can see the story on it there. He was after 65 I actually got it for uh, 60 He knocked 5 bucks off. Um, and you guys know the way it works, right? You put um, some paper and tinder and all in here. You kind of get it going, and then you you feed sticks in, and it burns the sticks down. No smoke comes out of here. All the fire and smoke comes out of here. And it actually gets roaring along pretty good, right? As you're buying metal to build this, Right, I, heck, <laughs> he's probably got ten bucks worth of welding rod in here before you even get to the metal. Anyhow, I I just liked. I I think it's good to own something along these lines. Um, yeah, I don't know if he built it out of scrap metal, right? He had to add this little piece on top. That's a possibility. Anyway. I'd, uh, I'd bet you anybody who does this kind of stuff would have a hard time going out and buying the materials and welding rods and cutting up everything right, the discs for cutting or the saw for cutting, right, the welder, that you can smash this together for somewhere around 60 bucks, right, just isn't happening. Picked up this uh, tent stove camping stove garage stove whatever 75 i ended up giving them 70. um the same person built both of these i guess they have a little business they got going on um not the greatest welds they did put a baffle in there right you can see the top baffle um nice nice little stove if you want to uh want to actually do coal on it you got to get a grade and feed air through the coal 
then you could actually even use this thing for coal. So it would need a need an adapter for that. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put some um, fire bricks in it. Um, coal typically has some more nasties. Metal isn't crazy thin. It's not crazy thick either. I mean, you could see he probably probably used a jigsaw, whatever bandsaw to cut this out. You can see some of his uh, mistakes right there. Yeah, I love I love the unique stuff of of the flea markets out there. Whether it's this death cycle quad, the rocket stove, the tent stove, um, firecracker stuff like that. You, you typically don't find in the flea markets anywhere near me. You'll find socks and little plastic cars, but um, this unique stuff that somebody built, you never find. Just in time for the fourth, I found this, I guess it's called a mat of firecrackers. And also in the box with this was, was this. Um, they used to have a kind of cap pistol when I was a kid and this disc rotates in each one of those things is a little bang that goes with it so um, I gotta figure this stuff it's gotta be both of them somewhere around 50 years old kind of kind of interesting if you're familiar with the ones from nowadays um, they don't put much powder into it at least the ones I could get um, in New York and Pennsylvania um, here in New York right around this time of the year they start setting up parking lot stands where they sell sparklers and skyrockets and all that stuff all the legal stuff um, I think I think these are back from the day where if you weren't careful you would actually damage your fingers so um, anyway I just I just saw them she wanted two bucks I gave her a buck for them. I just thought they were cool to own so now that you know where I've been <laughs> let's see what I brought home um, this stuff on the tailgate was a dollar or less and I always find some crazy interesting stuff not the most interesting it's an empty inverter box but it's got the outlets and so forth a buck you know plow light a dollar inverters uh, 175 watts a dollar antique um, battery tester um, Tail light battery test, I think, was a quarter. Air gauge, a dollar. I don't know if you've bought any of these brushes lately. I'm always using them to clean up threads and so forth. Once again, all this stuff, less than a buck. Rotary, um, um, rasp, uh, I guess we could call it. Hose was free. This stuff was a quarter. The lights were a quarter. This was a dollar. The string was a dollar. These were the radio and the chargers. They were like 50 cents each. <laughs> I mean, how could you go wrong? We used to use these at work, and they used to go right through the metal building and, and so forth. I'm sure the battery packs are dead, need to be re rebuilt. They're just um, NICAD batteries, pretty easy to find. Hose always going through that strobe um, it's a vacuum gate but I really bought it for the hose toys these were like 25 or 50 cents right um, fuel line always going through it face mask I think this is paintball type thing um, light bulbs for those halogen sets um, need for that this was a buck when I was a kid First of all, this package would have been in vogue. But these kind of light bulbs, they were like so hard to find, right? Expensive, valuable. 
Um, these were 10 for a dollar, and there were 25 here, and she gave them all to me for two bucks. The Kawasaki drill and charger and battery were a dollar. I'm not quite sure why I picked it up, other than I kind of found it amusing, so I did, right? More for my kids to clean up on the, uh, the, the final uh, days, but anyway, so... All this stuff, a dollar or less. A lot of it only 25 cents. I have to admit, I always like buying tools, right? Um, this is the Quinn set, Harbor Freight. They're a little better quality, so I, you know, figured I'd give them a shot. It's also handy. Full set, everything here. Um, he wanted 10, I gave him 8. The Dremel tool... Uh, works. Um, it was three. I'm always wearing deep woods off. <laughs> I got mosquitoes here like no tomorrow. It's a little breezy today, so it's not bad. Uh, dry wall attachment. These were four. I don't know if anybody's bought these lately. And I picked up three bags of these. Those are metal. These are for attaching um, metal roofing. she has got the bit in it for drilling through the roof and the um, gasket there. So anyway, I picked up three bags of these for eight bucks. I don't know if anybody's bought that stuff lately. Um, expensive. Fan. Everybody needs a fan. These could be aimed and forward and reversed and all that stuff. Um, these guys, I just pick them up whenever I see them. I gave him three bucks for this. He wanted five, right? And it's handy because if I can have this sitting next to this with a quarter inch bit in it so that I'm not, you know, looking for bits, it's just uh, dedicated. Suddenly, I'm, I'm just ready to work, right? I'm not, oh, where's my uh, quarter inch drive bit? You know, these. this is off doing another project, right? That way, that could be a set unto itself. You guys have seen flex plate paste. Um, I was wondering if this stuff is any good at making fenders. I think this was part of another deal. It came with a bunch of other stuff. So I probably got this container for four bucks. I mean, I think it's like 10 typically. It's still soft and all. Camera case for a GoPro. Let me talk about those later. Um, timer, I think I went three on this. This is wrap. Um, this was used for pallets. My buddy uh, Steve says when you're doing an all-terrain vehicle seat, you could do the wrap on it, get the foam and everything down really well, put the seat cover on, staple down the seat cover and you know cut away the wrap where it doesn't need to be so handy power cord these this is lithium-ion batteries they're the bigger ones uh, there are five cells in here I think I went like four bucks with it by the time you do the math weather radio regular radio always handy to have these this one just appeared to be in nice shape i got the cord the batteries didn't melt in it and mess it all up um i think i want six for it this is a blower fan for a uh, wood stove um, variable speed i still have in my mind a uh, wood burning project and i'll i'll show you that when i get a chance just a couple of fun toys, radio controlled robot. And that one there is a solar robot. I have a nephew who's into this kind of stuff. So when you get, you know, things like this reasonable, it's always good to, you know, let him, let him have these. Um, I picked up 15 bucks worth of drainage hose there. I think that should be a hundred feet if my calculations all right, um, so somewhere around half price. The guy who sells carburetors were there. I uh, tried to stick with the quality stuff. This is Kievan as in real Kievan, 
made in Japan. Um, here's another Kievan. I specifically picked these up. Um, this is for the 125, assuming it ever comes back to life again. Um, and I picked it up with the manual choke, not the cable. So always good. I paid $12.50 each for the carburetors. This box of stuff was an interesting deal. I looked and actually, you know, was looking at this camera and a guy offered to sell me this camera for five bucks. And I'm like, nah, I don't think so. And then he said, I'll tell you what, for 10 bucks, I'll throw in the bush now um, binoculars. And I'm like, eh, we really don't need the Bushnell binoculars. So he goes, okay. And I had touched this previously. Um, these are good for charging batteries, typically. Um, anyway, so he says, I'll throw in the power supply for the, uh, for the train. I said, no, um, I don't think so. And then he threw in <laughs> this little DVD player um, with the case and the charger and the cables and all that. And I said, well, all right, for 10 bucks, I'll try and see if any of these are worth owning. Then he threw this camera in. I think it's busted. Oh, there it goes, it locked. Well, semi-locked. So he threw that in. I think that should go right to the garbage. Then he threw in, you know, <laughs> this really digital voice recorder. It'd be interesting to put batteries in here and there's a tape in it, see, uh, see <laughs> what messages are on there, right? It could be some cryptic message from beyond, perhaps. Anyway, this was uh, my adventure for the weekend. You guys could see I found all kinds of wonderful junk to bring home. I, I, once again, I just enjoy the exploring, the hunting for a deal, all that stuff. I enjoy the redneck project builds. Um, I've been wanting to kind of come up with a wood stove for the upper garage, but not do a permanent installation, perhaps set it up outside the door um, where the heat will be in. But if there's a problem, I could just kick it <laughs> and get it away from the garage. So that's what I've been doing that. Rocket stoves are always handy to have. Um, if you're barbecuing stuff, you want to make a pot of baked beans with a hand full of twigs, you can cook your baked beans. Anyway, there we are. I hope you guys enjoyed the exploration. I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment. I really do look forward to the comments and subscribe. Be safe out there. Bye now.